Well, hey there guys, if you're watching this, then you're probably like me and a big fan of the big bohemoths, the big land yachts. Literally, these were the last biggest Lincolns ever made up until 79. This being a 77 to 79 Lincoln Continental. I don't know if it's a Mark 7 or what, Mark 5, Mark 6. Looks more like a base model. And uh, wow, it's in nice shape though, you know, it's not, it's, it's cool because it's in nice shape, but it's in driver condition too, you know, when the car is in very nice pre presentable condition, but it's not mint and therefore it can be driven. It's fucking nice, man. It's a beauty. It's funny, even though there's no white walls on the rear, it still looks nice with the original hubcaps there. Just a beautiful classic American land yacht, you know. Today being uh, Easter Monday, April 21st. I'm rocking the Schwinn over here, and look at this. Comparatively, from the 70s, there's a 73 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, but it's not as in good a condition. There, if you don't know my videos and who I am, my name is Elton, like Elton John, last name McFall. There's my 58 Schwinn, one of two vintage bikes I have. And we're here in Longueuil there, and uh, shit, I don't remember the name of this business, but uh, anyway, who's to say this Lincoln is for sale anyway, but I'm glad it's parked here, not with all these cars, if it is for sale, because I can get a nice clean shots shots of it you know yeah right on oh wait a minute yeah mark five right there mark five i filmed one of these i remember last year no two of them actually but one of them was down here at a local show and uh it's clean though it's a clean car you know look at the typical warping the fucking plastic is shit you know unfortunately Oh, underneath looks nice. Looks really nice. Decent. Decent. What color is the interior? Ooh, dark red. Oh, I love that. Oh, man. Fucking dusty, though. She's a dusty bitch, this one. Oh, she's gorgeous inside. Oh, my God. I think of all the Lincoln the Continental Mark V's I've seen from this era. This one maybe has the nicest interior I've ever seen. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Trouble so high. Oh, lordy. It could be those uh, hidden hidden headlamps, as they're called there. It looks like those doors are maybe broken, broken val uh, vacuum or uh, vacuum hose, maybe. What a sweet ride. Does it have the grill that pushes in? No, that was probably a few years later. Yeah, man. Oh, man. You know, I would love to own one of these guys. I love Cadillacs, you know. You know me. I love all kinds of old boats, but, man, yeah, I've, like so many of you, I got a soft spot for these. They're just fucking enormous cars. They're just, it's like they're larger than life. And look, although I'm not a fan of white, it's got a sunroof on it, you know. It's got a fucking sunroof. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It's just so cool, you know. I mean, I know, you know, a lot of you guys, you love muscle cars, muscle cars, muscle cars. You love these Novas. And don't get me wrong, I like them too. But my tastes are really for these fucking gas guzzling boats, man. I love these cars. You know? So that's it. Just a little thing. I'm thrilled. My day is going well. Fighting old cars and trucks to film. And, uh... Yeah, if you want to check out any of these cars in person, uh, like I said, they're here in Longueuil, Quebec, just south of Montreal, on the corner of St. Foy and Dollard Street. I'll show you that. There you go. Give these guys a plug, you know? Because, hey, places like this that sell antique cars, not many of them in, in this part of the world, because this is the Rust Belt, you know? So anyway, guys, so that's it. I'm going to keep floating along, and have yourselves a nice day. Bye-bye.